This video contains major spoilers for Avengers Endgame. You have been warned. If you haven't seen it, stop watching now. As I'm starting this video, I have not yet seen Avengers Endgame. But, by the time I finish this video, I will have seen Avengers Endgame. See, I thought it would be kinda cool to make some fan art for Avengers Endgame, but draw the first half of the image before seeing the movie, and draw the second half of the image after seeing the movie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by drawing Iron Man in his cool Avengers Endgame suit, you know, the one with the, the yellow arms that's been in some of the trailers, and I'm gonna leave space for him to be interacting with another character. Then after seeing the movie, I'm going to draw that second character, and I don't know who they're gonna be. I'm thinking I'll make it some kind of cool reflection of an epic fight scene that happens in the movie, like him fighting a villain like Thanos or someone, or maybe a villain we don't know is coming, or maybe a cool team-up shot with another character that we don't know is coming. Maybe it'll even be Iron Man dying. I mean, you know, presumably not that, because I'm assuming he doesn't die since Infinity War was kind of the depressing one. This one will probably be a lot happier ending, but I guess we'll see. Oh, you sweet, innocent child. You have no idea. Anyway, let's start off this piece by drawing Iron Man in his Avengers Endgame suit. Now, like I always suggest, I started this piece by doing a bunch of thumbnail sketches. Also, you'll notice that I have a platform sort of thing under the characters. I'm not doing like a full rendered environment. I'm doing that sort of platform thing like I did with my Pokemon and superheroes drawings and with that unlisted leaf drawing the other week. I just kind of like that format, the platform before the character. It is a little bit lazier than doing a full background, but yeah, yeah, I like how it looks and I think it'll be kind of cool for this piece. Anyway, I always think that the first thumbnail sketch that I draw is the one that I'm going to end up going with, and it almost never is. I end up liking two of these more so than the other two, and uh, you can maybe guess which ones I like more, but uh, I don't know. Here's all of them anyway. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to do two of these just to be extra prepared because I don't know what this image is going to end up being, I don't know who I'm going to want to add into it, so let's just do two just to prep and then I'll decide after the movie which one I'm going to use. So now, let's go into the rough drawing, but like, like, like not the, I mean this is rough but like less rough, the, the second round of, you know what I mean, let's go. So the two that I ended up going with were the classic Iron Man superhero landing kind of pose, and then the other that I feel like I'm more likely to use is one where he's kind of charging towards someone else, there's a bit of smoke kicking up behind him, he's ready to throw a fist. I don't know who he'd be fighting, this kind of looks like I have an image of some promo art from Civil War in my head where he's going to punch Captain America, I think that's where I got the idea for this pose. But anyway, I, uh, I also do, as I said, the superhero landing pose, and I like that one too, I don't really know what I'd do with this one, it just felt like such a classic Iron Man pose that I felt like I should have it in there, so I did both of them, and you'll notice that I draw these suits a little bit differently from each other, not in any big important details or anything, just kind of like some of the ways I do some of the streaks along the arms and things like that. I also change stuff more than usual once I was in the inking stage, because on my other monitor I brought up another image of Iron Man from one of the trailers and realized that this reference image I've brought in to look at the suit might not be the final version of the design, maybe it had been like leaked concept art or something. I don't remember where I got it from, but it's it's not exactly how the suit looks in the movie, which isn't really a big deal because my style, I'm not usually going for an exact replica, I just need to get the broad strokes of it. Mostly I need to get the coloring right, make sure that the shoulders and biceps are all yellow, and then the forearms are red, and I think it's referencing one of Iron Man's original armors from... I want to say the 70s, but I'm not totally sure. I, I, I can picture it in my head, I just can't think of what era that Iron Man suit's from. Anyway, I think it's super cool, I can't wait to see it in the movie. Once I got the inking done, you'll also notice that the background is kind of in front of some of the stuff for part of this. I drew the background separately from the character, so that if I wanted to go in and sort of shift the character around from the background when I go to add my next character in tomorrow. It'll be a bit easier and I can move the character from the background. I wanted to give myself as much flexibility as possible. Anyway, I did the coloring and shading for the superhero landing pose first, so let's take a look at how that one turned out. Now back to our fight scene one, I think I might actually like the proportions of the character better in the previous one. I made his head a bit smaller, which kind of makes sense for Iron Man, because he's got like a bunch of 
thick armor around the rest of his body. I guess he's got thick armor on his head too, but I don't know. I think I just like the proportions of the other one better. I still like this one and I kind of think I'll end up going with this one. Him charging at someone ready to take a swing, maybe at Thanos or I'm hoping some other crazy villain we're not expecting shows up. But anyway, here's the finished version of Iron Man in his sort of fight pose. Well, there you have it. The last piece of art I'll ever do before seeing Avengers Endgame. Super excited to see the movie, obviously, and I'm also really excited to see what we end up making out of this. But we won't know until after I've seen the movie tomorrow, so let's cut to tomorrow. Okay, so that happened. I am Iron Man. Oh my gosh, that movie. It was exhausting, right? Like, emotionally exhausting going through that whole... Oh my gosh. I loved it. Wow. There's so many moments that I'd love to draw, and I'm definitely gonna do way more artwork from Avengers Endgame, but for now, I have to whittle it down to a couple ideas, and I think I know what I'm gonna do. But I didn't think about how late this movie was gonna go, so I'm actually gonna do this tomorrow. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. But like, for me it'll be tomorrow, for you it'll be like 12 seconds from... You know what I mean, cut to tomorrow where I'm doing some awesome drawing. Now, I spent a lot of last night trying to decide what idea I was gonna go with. I had thought about doing a tribute to Iron Man with that shot of him in his landing position where he, I would have changed his hand to a snapping pose and Thanos disappearing behind him, but I just couldn't resist doing that scene where Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor team up against Thanos and Captain America grabs Mjolnir and starts beating the hell out of Thanos with it because that is just... One of the most incredible scenes to me in that movie was just when the three of them are teaming up against him and, oh, Captain America grabbing Mjolnir just blew my flippin' mind and the theater went absolutely insane. And I, oh, it was just so cool, so I had to do that drawing. Maybe I'll do something with that other piece in the future, but for this video, I'm just doing that epic three-on-one fight because it was, oh, it was just so cool. Oh my gosh. I mean, I mean, right? Oh. So the plan here is, like I did with Iron Man in the background, I'm gonna draw all the characters separately in their own folders so that I can move them around a little bit if I need to. I have a pretty good idea of what I want the framing to be for each of them, but just in case, I figured I'd draw them all separately. So let's get into the inking. With this piece, I do something a little bit different than I normally do. It's not that much different, but in a lot of my videos I talk about, oh, I don't want to make this too cartoony, or I'm going to try and make this a bit less cartoony, even though cartoony is kind of my natural way to go. So for this one, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with my instincts and make it cartoony. I'm going to limit some of the details from the costumes. I'm going to make the outlines around the characters really thick. I'm going to do mostly cell shading for the shadow and lighting and I really like how this one ends up turning out and I think I should go with this more often not try and lean away from what is my natural go-to way of drawing which I didn't really realize how much I was pushing away from it and again this is pretty similar to a lot of the stuff I've been doing lately it's just this feels like it was just more me like I was just doing what comes naturally and I really like how it turns out especially the thick outlines around the characters with the rim lighting once I get to the lighting and shadows it just all feels really good and of course while I was drawing this I just kept thinking about how epic that scene was how really just seeing Captain America pick up Mjolnir and beat the ever-living snot out of Thanos was just one of the coolest things I've seen in theaters in forever and I, I can't I kind of can't believe I didn't see it coming earlier once Thor called both hammers to him I was like oh maybe this will happen but I can't believe I didn't think that it might happen earlier in the movie I mean they even teased it in Age of Ultron so I just it re I was glad I didn't think about it because it really blew me away when I saw it so I just I really like how this image turned out it really kind of feels like my version of that scene from the movie. Of course, in the movie it's way more epic, but I really like how this scene comes across in my style. I love how all the characters look and, well, you'll see, here's the final version. You know what? This is one of those times where I'm very happy to give myself a pat on the back. I really like how that turned out. 
Anyway, that's all for today. If you want me to do any more Avengers Endgame art, let me know, because I'm super down to do more. Kind of want to draw something of rescue, Pepper's Iron Man suit, and that scene where it was all the Marvel women teaming up, or I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff I want to draw from the movie. I'm also thinking of doing a Avengers Endgame characters Venomized, or I don't know. Let me know what you want to see out of this channel, Avengers Endgame wise, in the comments below, or if you want any not Avengers drawing stuff. Just give me all your suggestions in the comments below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching Popcraft Studios. I'm Christian Pearson, and enjoy the endgame, but don't spoil it for anyone else. I will see you all later.